YouTube. Like and subscribe. Now. Why is this $50? Hey Maya, I made a video about you and the famous Steve Irwin for his birthday. Let me know what you think. I swear to God, if this is a bait to get me banned, I'm gonna be. On October 25th, 1996. Animal Planet launched a critically acclaimed and informative show, Ludwig? The Crocodile Why are you saying Hunter. Ludwig? It starred the renowned, passionate, and animal-loving conservationist, Steve Irwin. Millions were tuned in to Steve Irwin, learning new facts about all different kinds of animals, both on land and in sea. Steve's enthusiasm wow. for wildlife has greatly contributed to an increased desire in career paths and choices that align with that same passion. With an ambition for animals dating back to his sixth birthday, being gifted a 12-foot python, Don't Steve's love and respect for animals again. drove his ambition to teach and educate audiences, especially younger ones, of their importance in I the world. I feel... Well, what do I do? Whoa. But time has taught us one thing. Younger it's, dreams it's and like desires can often change with time. Life has a funny way of changing our plans. This truth has happened to most of us. Except to a certain someone. People pop, wow. Meet Maya Higa. Oh my god. Similar to Steve Irwin, <gasps> Maya was surrounded by animals and grew Ew. to love them at an early age. She saw something special in helping Cowboy. animals that most kids her age saw as well. The passion that started at an early age persisted and eventually- Myth. I'm- Why are you stream sniping me? I have an important question. Alright. Do you remember when we did wine did time? Do you remember? Do you, rem do you remember oh. when we did wine time? Wine time? Yes. The you podcast. Wine about it? Wine about it. Yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. I- there were those wax strips that I put on my arms, right? Yeah. Were those for the pussy? Mm, no. Okay. I mean, I guess they could be. Where do, the, where do you generally use those? Wherever you want. They're pretty small, though, so I feel like upper lip, like, arms. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. I just, I was thinking about that two nights ago, and I was like, did I put pussy wax on my arm? Oh, well, it doesn't matter if it hasn't touched it yet anyway. Yeah, I know, but I was just wondering what the common use case is for it, so. Three nights at the motel and this is not in the Yeah, that's all. She not a lesbian for P, she pushing pesbian. Pushing P, pushing P. Ah. Uh. Pushing P. All right, bye, Maya. All right, peace. Peace. Cutie Cinderella, what? Have myth help? Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know what to do about this video. Frick. Cutie, I have to watch this video and then I'm gonna call you. She led to her pursuit of a bachelor's degree in and agriculture myth. education and communication. Oh, and she's also a streamer. True. Twitch is one of the most famous streaming platforms amongst its competition. It serves as a gateway for people to share their passions and hobbies with the world. The platform is no stranger to people of many different backgrounds. It's glittered with the most colorful cast of insane speedrunners, washed up theater majors, <laughs> and culinary experts. It's just yeah. about filled to the brim with every archetype. Despite this, Maya saw an opportunity and started streaming on Twitch in April of 2019. The content on her early streams were just her singing and chatting to her few viewers, but mostly spreading conservation awareness. Man. With time, Maya realized that this would be the most effective way for her to oh spread God. that I message. I wish I knew the context of I this. just got my dog under license and I'm rehabilitating him for a couple months. Um, so I just fly him every day. Uh, Thank you, Jeff. And I weigh him every day. Bean. And, um, Beanie baby. Yeah. So Bean dip. Shortly after starting her streaming career, Maya launched oh her God, own podcast titled Conservation Cast. Wow. 
where conservationists and wildlife enthusiasts can spread their message to large audiences each week. With over 60 episodes, Maya and her fan base were able to raise over $80,000 to support organizations dedicated to protecting and supporting wildlife and conservation. Mom! This means the world to me. Doing what I do with this platform means the world to me. Um, I'm just, I'm super, super passionate about it, and I appreciate that you guys watch and support me. Uh, it's my dream. It literally, I, I can't think of anything Why am I saying that and I look like such a bitch? With my life than what I've gotten to do on Twitch. I really meant that, but Maya's I did not look like it. efforts to support causes like this continue with a non-profit organization, Alveus, which is dedicated to unite and educate people in and about conservation efforts. Maya's IRL streams from the sanctuary include her feeding the animals, hosting mega fundraising events, and cleaning up horse You guys ever fallen off a horse and the horse shit? Since the launch, yeah. Alveus has raised over $600,000 using Twitch. I believe Alveus has the potential of becoming one of the most impactful animal sanctuaries to the current and future generations. But running a nonprofit doesn't mean Maya's serious all the time. Uh -oh. Maya may be five foot one, but she is full of surprises. I feel pretty good. Everything's going pretty good so far. Hell. I brought a knife. She is highly really versatile in everything that. she adds to her stream, from cooking to podcasts to singing to IRL, gaming, and more. No matter what she puts her mind to, her community will follow Aww, her every step of the family. way because they know Maya has something unique that the legendary gaming. Steve Irwin had. Aww. Determination. It's with this determination that her and Steve Irwin are Aww. one and the same. I feel weird Through the journeys they've been like on it. in their lives, <laughs> at the end of it all, it's always been about making it known that there is an entire world oh, of life weird. that needs the same care and attention that we as people do. They will use any medium possible to save wildlife. Steve's genuine passion and perspective on the world around us continues with people like Maya. Yeah, Steve I don't have passion like Steve said, does. <laughs> my job, my mission, the reason I've been put onto this planet is to save wildlife. And I believe that's Maya's mission as well. Budgie. Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin has no. died during a diving expedition. It's gonna make me cry. Stop, stop, stop. Whole world. Stop. Moments for Steve that propelled his mission of saving wildlife to reach more people than ever before. It highlighted a message that quickly became known to many. Since Steve's passing, Animal Planet has become more about people than the animals. However, that same passion and inspiration that Irwin embodied continues on Twitch with Maya. No, Like no, Steve no, no, Irwin no, no, with the Crocodile no, no, no. Hunter, Maya continues the goal of educating is, and inspiring is... others when it comes to animals, and no. life, <laughs> and love. I appreciate the sentiment though. The genuine love for animals and preservation of this beautiful yeah, planet. no one said that to Steve. No, Even actually, though her journey is young, Maya has proven that she is more than determined to do whatever she can to at least save one more snake, one more raccoon, or one more bird. One of those actually died. Wow. Maybe 33. Might be a fair comparison if you brought back the conservation cast TBH. If you could have lunch with one person alive or dead, who would it be? Steve Irwin. Um, I would be honored for any of Steve Irwin's uh, enthusiasm for life and wildlife to, you know, touch me at all or, or affect me at all. Um, I, I'm really, really fascinated with how he was able to capture so many people um, and, and be a pioneer for, for people being excited about wildlife. There's something, there's a lot to be learned from that, so. 20 years ago, when I was a young boy, oh my, my view on wildlife and conservation was shaped thanks to the Wait, icons like on? David Attenborough, Jeff Corwin, and of course the famous Steve Irwin. Crocky, you got a hound boy. It's like a croc. That's cute. I'm sure if Steve Irwin were here to this day, he would applaud Maya and all of her accomplishments and efforts. With the dedication and passion that Maya has about wildlife, I'm confident that the next generation of kids will be inspired by her efforts, leading to the world the becoming a much better place. <laughs> Steve Irwin was a hero for me, and I know Maya will be a hero for so many others as well. Wow. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, 
I, I, I can't. I, oh my god, it's still going. Whoops, sorry. Sid. I'm sorry, it's my voice. It's not the pictures. A channel for more content like this. Nice man. Take care. Um, I I can't I can't get behind the comparison because it's such big shoes to fill, and I don't think that I'm I'm anywhere near Steve or like streams. anywhere near. And we do similar things, do but I do appreciate the sentiment. Um. Number one, victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just got down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map. Go to the mark sheet.